We did it, guys. We finally got our first dislike. 74 videos later. I expected it a lot sooner. And honestly, I was excited for the first dislike on my channel. Every video is has 100% in the likes. And I was like, somebody has to come along and hate this crap, right? I go back and look at my old videos. And I, I, I cringe at my old videos. But this is actually a new one that I actually really did enjoy. It's actually one of the most well-performing videos I've had. It's not quite top, but for my small channel, it's not awful. I mean, I'm at 97 views, I am one of the seven likes. And we finally got our first ever dislike. So moving on from that, today I wanted to talk about two things I hate seeing on YouTube that have been driving me insane. It is people that are self-advertising in the comments and people who are begging for sub for sub. And I understand, like, I, I'm also a tiny channel. I'm not even at 100 subs yet. I understand the temptation to do that. It seems like a good way to grow. It is the opposite. It is the worst way to grow, and you will kill your channel if you do it. So I wanted to talk about that today. Let's backtrack a little bit, back to when I was purely on Twitch, didn't even consider YouTube. And I had my first ever, like, I hate this person moment while streaming. We were streaming Jackbox, a game that I used to love to stream until all the trolls came along and now I hardly ever get to. And this kid came into my stream, admitted that he was a kid, but posted in my comments and said, Hey, why don't you watch me instead? Like, I don't have as many viewers, it's easier for you to get in the game. Go to my channel instead. Thankfully, none of my viewers left. They were all calling him an asshat for doing that. And when I actually went to go to his channel on stream, I didn't show his channel on stream, he blocked me. So he hopped into my channel, blocked me, and then begged for my viewers to go to his channel. Well, a couple of my viewers did go to his channel, and just call him an asshat and stuff. And I, I don't entirely support that. Like, yeah, that's what he is. Uh, apparently, like, it was one of his first ever streams, and there were a bunch of people in his stream. He was actually getting more views than I was. But they were all there for the same reason. They were all there to tell him, like, dude, you've got to stop this self-promoting crap. Um, he ended up pulling up some things on stream that you can get banned for, and as far as what one of my viewers reported to me is he did eventually get banned. That was my first example of somebody self-promoting, and it was a pretty harsh one, because like I was still small on Twitch at the time. I probably had seven or eight viewers during that stream, which isn't bad, but for Jackbox, that was a bit on the lower end for me. I was happy. I was like, hey, you know, the stream's going well. We don't have any trolls today. It's like an hour and a half in, and this kid comes in and just ruins it. He's like, hey, everyone come watch me instead. But nothing really bad happened as a result, but I still hated that. And every time I've streamed any other game, it's never happened. But Jackbox, I think it's happened three times now where someone's come to my channel and said, hey, come watch me instead. But we're not here to talk about Twitch. We're here to talk about YouTube. So I originally planned on talking about sub for sub first, but we're going to save that till last because I've already been talking about self-advertising. Self when you go into somebody else's channel, and rather you watch their video or not, and you comment below, hey, go check out my channel. Not only is it the self-promotion, it's just, it's crappy. Anybody else that is watching that person doesn't care about the other YouTubers in the comments. Now, if you're interacting with the comments, you know, you're replying to people, you're leaving things that actually make sense in context of the video, and maybe you're being funny, whatever else, that's not bad. Some actual bigger content creators have grown that way. They've, you know, just been interactive in the comments, and I've actually gained a few subs from that myself, just replying to a video or, you know, replying to someone in the comments section and, like, not saying, hey, go check me out. I, I don't think I've ever mentioned a single time in any of my comments, and feel free to try and skim through them and see if I ever did. I've never mentioned, hey, go check out my content, or, hey, I just now did a video on the game that you just did a video on. It's self-promotion, and it's crappy. You can be, you, you can still get subscriptions. You can still get viewers from the comments section. I'm not saying that that's off limits, but don't go there expecting that. Don't go there promoting yourself and expect yourself to get all these views and subscribers because you're leaving a comment. Comment because you enjoy it. Have fun in the video. It's not that hard. But the biggest issue with doing this self-promotion thing in people's comments is that your channel won't grow as a result. The only people that are going to come over to your channel as a result are going to be people that are there to complain about the fact that you're self-advertising people's channels. They're going to be calling you names and whatever else. And the biggest issue is, is that you look like you're, you don't trust your own content. You don't believe in your own content to grow. And that is not good. Even some of my older cringy content, at the time, I believed in that. You have to believe in your own content. You have to believe that it can stand on its own two legs. And you will grow off of the merit of the videos that you produce on your channel. 
you don't have to go self-promoting because you believe that your content is good enough to stand on its own two legs. It's good enough to make it on YouTube. So when you go commenting on all these popular videos and you go comp you know, commenting on just about anything saying, hey, watch me, you, you look like you don't believe in your own content, so why should they? You look desperate. You're begging for subs. You're begging for likes and views. They're going to look at that and say, this person doesn't believe in themselves. This person, th their content isn't good enough, so they have to beg. No big creator has gotten there by self-advertising in comments. And actually, if you guys want to prove me wrong on that, I am more than open to it. Down in the comments, let me know if you know of a big YouTuber who did self-promotion in comments, who has admitted to doing so. I know certain people have admitted to doing other things in the past. PewDiePie himself even said that he used to go back when he was a brand new YouTuber and refresh his videos to get more views. And I think everybody does that once in a while. Some of my videos have more views than they should because I'll go back to the video to see the comments and shit like that. And yeah, it counts as an extra view. It's actually bad for me because I don't watch all the way through it, so my average watch time goes really far down as a result. Everybody's going to do certain things to try and help themselves grow. But promoting other people's channels is just scummy. On top of that, it's against TOS. YouTube marks them as spam. Leaving spam comments can lead to the termination of your channel, especially if you're going about copying and pasting the exact same thing to every single comment, every single reply. And if all of your comments are saying, subscribe to me, subscribe to me, subscribe to me, when you get enough reports for doing that, YouTube can invite, can, you're filing the TOS and YouTube can terminate your channel. Why would you do that? You're going to take all this work that you've been putting into your channel and jeopardize it for the hope of a few clicks of a few subs for all of the hours and hours that you've put into your content will just be gone as a result of you hoping for a few extra subs. Now we're going to talk about sub for sub, follow for follow. It's a lot worse, in my opinion. Yes, with commenting in people's sections, you are bothering other people. You're annoying people. You're putting them off from your content. You're actually making the YouTuber themselves probably not like you or see you in the best light. Stop promoting your own channel in the comments. It's obnoxious, unrelated, and a bore. Anyways, what is my issue with sub for sub? It's bad for your channel and only your channel. Well, the self-advertising might annoy people. When you're doing sub for sub, all you're doing is hurting yourself. Because you're inviting people to come to your channel and subscribe to you, and then you're doing the same thing to them. Now, that person who subbed to you might just unsub a month later and you won't know. They also are not going to be watching your videos. They're not going to be liking your videos. They're not going to be commenting on your videos. Yes. They might do it for one, two, or three of them right after they first do the sub to make it look like they're going to keep engaging with you, but they're not. They're just there so they can get that sub from you, hoping that you'll do the same thing to them, drive up engagement on their channel. YouTube doesn't care about your sub count. They care about your views and your engagement. How many comments are your videos getting? How many likes and dislikes are your videos getting? Yes, even a dislike counts as engagement. That little celebration I had at the beginning where I was like, yes, I had my first ever dislike. As far as YouTube cares, it counts the same as a like. It's still engagement. So whoever didn't like that video, they still helped out my channel. They're still helping promote that video. Another issue is that, like I said, YouTube doesn't care about your sub count, right? Let's say you have 20,000 subs, right? You are miles ahead of me. But your videos are getting 100 or 200 views. Not only are the viewers that come to your channel going to think that you're either botting to get subs or that you're just a dead channel. And the issue is YouTube is going to see it the same way. When they look at your channel for possible monetization, for partnership, and they see if all these subs and the views are just nowhere near what they should be, they're going to think you're a dead channel or that you possibly bought it. Now, I'm not saying your channel's going to get removed for that unless they can prove that you actually bought it. But they're not going to let you monetize. They're not going to let you be a you know YouTube partner if your channel is dead. On top of all of that, just like self-advertising, sub for sub is against TOS. Have you ever left a comment on somebody's video saying, let's do sub for sub? You posted it on Reddit with your same YouTube username or with your link, whatever else, and YouTube finds that? They can terminate you. You could go back and you could delete those comments. What matters is that you still put them there in the first place. 
And if YouTube decided to, they can terminate your channel. They don't allow for sub for sub. They consider that to be artificial growth because that's what it is. And they consider it to be spam when you're doing in people's comments, even if it's on your own comments. Sub for sub is not a healthy way to grow at all. The other issue is that when, especially on Twitch, when you start doing sub for sub or follow for follow, you're reaching into a community of people that do that. There's this whole big pocket on the internet of people who do sub for sub and follow for follow. So let's say you do sub for sub with like five or six YouTubers, right? Those five or six YouTubers might mention you, or they could see that this person subbed to you, and then they see, oh, this person does it too. Eventually, your channel is going to be full of comments saying sub for sub, sub for sub, sub for sub, and it's going to be all of your viewers are just there for the subscription. They're just there to get you to sub to them as well. They don't care about your content. They're not there to watch it. You're not going to get the engagement aside from the comments. And on Twitch, it's really bad. There's, there are horror stories of people doing follow for follow, and it leads to them having a ridiculous amount of followers, but no viewers. They go live, right? And they have 1,000, 2,000 followers, but they have one, two viewers. And then they'll have viewers pop in that are like, hey, follow me and I'll follow you back. Like, that's it. And then when somebody new actually discovers your channel, right? They discover your channel, they go in like, okay, this, this Twitch streamer is actually interesting. And then people start popping in like crazy saying, follow me, I'll follow you back. Follow me, I'll follow you back. They're going to be turned off from your channel. They're going to leave. In the end, sub for sub just hurts you. As the YouTuber, it is hurting yourself. It might be tempting. Believe me, I understand the temptation. Don't do it. Not even once. Because it can totally screw over your channel. You're only hurting yourself. And I feel like a lot of that is due to misinformation. We have websites like this. Subforsub.net. Where you sign up and you link your YouTube channel. And other people on this website go sub to you and you sub back to them. This is just awful. They're promoting this to people. Sub, sub, Subforsub.net is promoting this to YouTubers, saying this is a good way to get subs. It's not. It's pure misinformation. Do not go on this site. I hate even pulling it up because I feel like I'm getting them ad revenue. This site, by the way, is plagued with ads. I just have ad blocker turned on. Let me turn that off. This is the site without ad blocker. We have a banner ad here. We have a side ad here. Another banner ad at the bottom. Last one on here, there was actually another one. Like, every page on the site is here to get the ad revenue from you showing up to their site. And that's all they care about. They don't care about your channel growth because they know all it's going to do is hurt your channel. So there's even on Reddit a sub for r slash sub for sub. And you have stuff like, let's grow together. I hate that. I see it on Twitter. I see it on Instagram. I see it on YouTube, I see it on Facebook, I see it everywhere. Let's grow together. It doesn't work that way. You don't grow together. They're getting a sub, you're getting a sub. That's not growth. They're not viewing your videos. Let's grow together is one of the most posted things I see for these stupid sub for sub things. And it's just there to sound exciting. It's there to sound encouraging. They don't help you grow. At all. Nobody who's watching YouTube looks at these let's grow together communities and crap. Nobody cares about everybody else. If they like your content, they're there for your content. Some other YouTuber you're associating yourself with, with the let's grow together movement or whatever, they don't care about them, they care about you. And when your comments are full of let's grow together comments, they stop caring. They're tired of being there. They're tired of being in your comment section. I hate seeing that. It, it drives me insane. Here we go. Sub, sub for sub for a like. Instant sub forever. Two accounts. Oh, you get two subs for the cost of one. I will subscribe to everyone that subscribes to me. Say done when you've subbed. Overnight perm subathon. Surprise me when I wake up. I need watch time. Please help me get 400 subs. Please help me reach 400 subs. Please help me reach 400 subs. Don't do this, guys. I feel bad for some of these people. Like, I feel like most of them don't know how bad it actually is. And when you're like, oh, but what if they do like my videos? What if they do comment on my videos? They're not going to. They might one or two, but that's it. As time goes on, they're gonna have 500 sub for sub deals and they're gonna forget about you. It doesn't work in your favor. A lot of these people I feel like are just being misled. They're not well informed. They haven't done their research. All they know is they put hundreds of hours into their content, be it gaming videos, be it movie reviews, whatever it is. 
They've put so much work and effort into it, and they're just not seeing that growth. They start getting depressed about it. They want to see themselves grow. And they find somebody saying, let's grow together. And so they come to a thread like r slash sub for sub. And they fall for this because they didn't do their research. I can't blame all of them. Some of them are scummy. But a lot of them are just misin misinformed. If anybody here is watching this, and you've done this in the past, delete any messages you have before you big for sub for sub. Stop doing it. All it is doing is hurting you. So if we just do a quick YouTube search for let's grow, let's help each other grow. We have a live stream here. Sm hashtag small YouTubers, watch this. Let's grow together. Small YouTubers support each other. Let's help each other grow. I actually kind of agree with that. Small YouTubers support each other. You're correct. If you make friends on YouTube, you do collabs together, you're actually friends. Yeah, you can help each other grow. I have some friends that I met through Twitch, and we have some similar viewers because we will go on each other's streams and hang out. We'll, we even play video, you know, we play games offline. The one night, me and a few friends that all of them I met via Twitch, not even on, not even on stream, not even recorded, we were up until like, what, like three in the morning? Just watching like YouTube videos, like the freaking Salad Fingers video and watching Suko just freak out because he hates the sounds. People like that. People that you can be friends with. And also do YouTube or Twitch or whatever else. Those are the ones that will actually help you grow. When you watch a video like this, hashtag small YouTubers watch this, let's help each other grow. They're not there to help you. They're there so you can help them. They're asking for a handout. Now, of course, out of all these videos, I have not watched all of them. I don't know if all of these YouTubers are, you know, begging for views and likes or whatever else. For all I know, you know, it's completely unrelated to what I'm talking about, so don't go calling out anybody of even the videos I talked about, like the hashtag or whatever. I haven't watched the video. I don't know. Don't give that person any hate. But then even here on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube, wrote to 2K subs. Now see, that's not too bad, right? Okay. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're almost at 2K subs. That's good. That's a good achievement. Then they put sub for sub in two different ways in the hashtags. We have sub for sub subbed. Sub for sub, I'm trying to hit 50 by the end. Please sub if you like this video. Now see, that's not bad. Like, it's it's a little biggy, but it's not bad. Just sub if you like the video. But then they, again, they, they put things like support for support, small streamer communities, uh, small streamers connect, small streamer, sub for sub. Even I, when I first started Twitter, I'm not a big social media person. I, I, I used Facebook in like middle to high school, and then I stopped. I don't do social media. When I signed up for Twitter, it was because a good friend of mine, Eighth Recluse, actually suggested that I get on here because it's a good way to try and grow. When I listed, you know, like that I'm a Twitch streamer, yada yada, some of these are recommended to me. It was recommended to me, small streamer community and stuff like that. And some of my earliest tweets, I actually did that. Luckily, not much came of it. I had some retweets from these channels that all they do is retweet other Twitch streamers that use that tag. Thank God nothing, nobody actually came to my channel looking for sub for sub or follow for follow, because even then I, I wasn't dumb enough to know that that was a bad thing to do. Like even then I knew that's not a good idea. I just fell for this dumb thing. But like, you, you see the same thing on every social media platform. People are trying their hardest to grow and I can't blame them. They're misinformed, like I said a million times. They don't understand how much it actually hurts their channel. So I, I, I just wanted to get my peace of mind on that. Actually, there's one more thing I want to mention here. On two of my videos, I have a good example of begging where people try to hide the fact that they're self-advertising. So on Ode to Moon, one of my haunted PS1 demo disc videos that I've been pushing it like crazy lately, the series is almost done, this YouTuber named Tiny Train Track left this comment. Nice gameplay, dude. Totally subbing. Number 74. I was just thinking about doing a tiny train track video with some PS1 game stuff, but we'll see. Now, I was like, okay, you know, that's cool. It seemed a little beggy to me, but whatever. I, I, I hearted the comment, yada yada. I, I tried to get some good engagement with my comment, so I didn't heart a lot of things. But something seemed really off to me. Totally subbing at number 74. He was number, like, 90-something. I was in the 90s whenever this comment was left. My sub count never went up. He didn't actually sub. So not only was he not number 74, because I was well past, past that, but then he's mentioning here that he's going to start doing PS1 games. Then, a few days later, see this is one week ago, on this video here, A Place Forbidden, another one of my haunted PS1 demo disc videos, he commented again, nice gameplay dude, totally subbing, number 92. 
Now this time, he actually was number 92. I was at 91 subs, he subscribed. At least I assume it was him. I was thinking about doing a tiny, tra a tiny train track video with some old school gaming stuff. Doom? But we'll see. He says these things that are related to what I'm doing. The PS1 demo disc, old school stuff like Doom, which I, I don't really do. But it's stuff that's related to the video itself. It says that he's going to be doing it too. It then says, oh, I'm subbing to you. Go check out my channel. Let's look at his channel. See what kind of old school gaming stuff he's done. That's a train, 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 that's a train. Hey, look, a train. Is that a train? Oh, look, a train and a train, a train. That's a train. Oh, look, a train. He's not going to do that. He's one subs. He found my channel twice. The first time, it looks like he accidentally typed the wrong number, like completely, and then mentioned the PS1 thing trying to get people to come to my channel, and he forgot to subscribe. I don't know what happened here. Maybe it's a bot he uses. But two times now, he's found my channel, in whatever way, and used it to beg to grow. Now again, I haven't watched the guy before. I don't, these are the only two times I've ever been encountered with him. So again, don't go giving him hate. But I just want to mention that before we ended. This video might have been longer than I originally intended. I'm sorry about that. I'm also sorry if future me who has to edit all this together, even though I'm hoping to have a more relaxed day. We'll see how that goes. But guys, just remember, don't self-advertise, don't suffer sub, grow naturally, get an Instagram, which I hardly use mine, get a Twitter, reach out and watch other YouTubers, watch their content, use what they're doing to improve. There's a platform called TubeBuddy, which can actually help you out with your tags and stuff like that. It's really useful. It, there are a lot of ways to grow naturally, and yes, it takes time. It's going to take time. It's a struggle. Nobody gets there overnight. I mean, I've only been working on this channel for like, what, three months or so? Like, actually, like, full-time working on it. And I've been growing slow. It's not a quick improvement. I got a sub, I think, last night, and it's the first one I've had in, well, since Train Track Guy three days ago. They're not going to come constantly. You're going to have your ups and downs. It's going to be a struggle to get there. But don't fall for these schemes because all it's going to do is ruin whatever your dream, whatever dream you're trying to hope for here on YouTube. Either way, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and a sub down below. And hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.